Hey all, Nick here. In this video, we're going to go through actually setting up a mini pool on the Prater testnet using Rocket Pool. So in a previous video, we went through and we just went through the setup stages to get Rocket Pool running on a Linux machine. So now we're at that point, we have Rocket Pool running on a Linux machine. I'm here, I have an AWS instance set up and we are fully synced with the with the ETH1 client and our consensus client. So we are fully synced with Gorelli and the Prater test network. But we have not gone through any of the steps to actually set up a mini pool. So there are a couple of different steps that are required here. And Rocket Pool does a great job outlining these steps within their documentation here. So we're basically going to go through these steps together and set up the set up the actual mini pool. So I'm going to probably move a bit fast here. Hopefully everything goes smooth. So right now we are fully synced. We have all of the Rocket Pool services running through Docker. We have not created our wallet yet. So the first thing we want to do is we need to use this command Rocket Pool Wallet Init. And what this is going to do is it's going to create your validator wallet, which will store private keys on the on the actual server that you're running here. So keep that in mind. You definitely want to go through those, step, those steps in securing your node so that no one can get access to this. Now, this is a test uh, This is a test server, so I am going to be sharing some information that would normally be private here, such as the private key of this wallet we're going to set up and its seed phrase. So I'm going to say yes. I'll enter a quick password here. Okay. All right, so it's going to show you the the seed phrase here. This is super private information. I'm going to go ahead and just, okay, oh, it's actually up there already. So we're going to have to retype all of these. Okay, once we're done re-entering the, all of the, all the different phrases we needed there, we're going to be displayed with a node account. And this is the address of the wallet that we need to fund in order for us to create our mini pool. So we have that in place now. Now what we can do is we do need to get a little bit of Gorelli ETH onto this into this wallet. I do have some ETH available, but there are commands that you can go into the Rocket Pool Discord and grab some that they have some bots running in there and I think that's outlined here in there. Here you go. So that there's this command, the Gorelli ETH and then you could put your address in there and they, they do have some software in there that will send some ETH to you. I already have some ETH so I'm going to go ahead and just send it here. I have some test test ETH on, on Gorelli. I'm going to go ahead and send some to this address and I want to send, I'll send 18 because we're going to need at least 16 ETH to fund the mini pool and we're going to need some ETH for just making, doing transactions on the network. So I'm going to send a little bit more than the 16 ETH. Okay. Confirm, and this should send it out. Let's go ahead and look at it on the Block Explorer. There we go. Now, if we go here, I think we could say Rocket Pool Node Status. And there we go. So our node has a balance of 18 ETH. We do not have any RPL yet. So we do need to get some RPL and we do need to register our node with Rocket Pool. So the next step here would be to register our node. So let's go ahead and we could say Rocket Pool Register Node, or I'm sorry, Node Register. Yes, we would like to detect the time zone. I get UTC, so I'll say UTC, UTC, yes. Okay, so now it's going to ask, now we're gonna perform a transaction on the network, on, on the execution network. So I think ETH1 this is gonna execute on, and this is going to register our node with the Rocket Pool contract. So we, I think we can keep this pretty much default, 24 GUE. It's asking us if we wanna send a little bit more ETH to, to make it faster but we'll just go ahead and leave it blank. Are you sure you want to register? Yes. And it gives us a link we can go to to see our transaction. Okay, so that took a little longer than expected. One thing we can take away from that is 
check the gas prices before you submit that transaction so that you don't have a transaction just sitting out there waiting to be confirmed because this took about two hours because we submitted a transaction with really low gas. So the price of the gas was a 24 GUE that we submitted and the, the market price at the time was much higher than that. So we had to wait for the market price to come down for this to actually confirm. But we now have a confirmed transaction and we went ahead and registered our node with Rocket Pool. So now if we go back to our server here and we do a Rocket Pool node status, we should see some more information here. So we could see that our node has a balance of a little bit less than 18 ETH now because we, we submitted this transaction. We currently do not have any RPL tokens, but we are registered with Rocket Pool in the time zone that we specified. Awesome, okay. So what is the next step here? The next step is we need to get some RPL and there is a faucet set up. I believe we can access it right through the Rocket Pool command here. So if we type Rocket Pool faucet status, I believe this should show us. Here we go. So the faucet has 770,000 R legacy RPL and we can withdraw 600. So it requires a half of, of GOE to do so. So in order for us to do that, what we could do is we could say faucet withdraw RPL and this is defaulting to 25 GUE. I'm gonna go ahead and pump that up because I don't want this to, to take that long. So I'm gonna say 45 GUE. And we'll say yes. Now we're waiting. Now this should be a lot faster than before, hopefully. There we go. So now we have 600 legacy RPL from the faucet. Awesome. Now we we could do a rocket pool node status again, and we should see a little bit different information here, right? We still don't have, so we have a balance of 600 old RPL. So in order for us to get the new RPL, I think we need to stake this RPL, right? So what we'll need to do now is say rocket pool node stake RPL. The node has a balance of 600 old RPL. Would you like to swap it for new RPL? And we do. So let's go ahead and say yes. Okay, now we're sending a transaction back up to the network. It's trying to do it for 25 GUE. Let's go ahead and just pump that up and we'll say 45 GUE. Yes. And this is cool. It's, it's, giving, you, it's giving you links to the... Uh, to Etherscan on everything that you're doing. So you can you can always click into that and see the status. Hola, and now once that's done. Okay, so we had an, an approval transaction and then we have the swap transaction, right? And now, okay, now it's asking us how much RPL. So we successfully swapped the 600 old RPL for new RPL. And now it's asking us how much do we want to stake? So in, instead of staking 100% of it right now, why don't we go ahead and stake 100 of them? I'm gonna enter a custom amount. So we'll hit four and then 100. And we're gonna go ahead and put up another transaction. So this is why you need some extra ETH in your wallet here so that we can pay for all these transactions we have to we have to do. Oh, look at that. It did recalculate. So a default of 41. I'm still going to go go higher. I'm going to say 45. You know what? I'm actually going to go higher. I'm going to say 65 here. Do you want to stake? Yes. Okay. Now, one cool thing about capturing this is I'm going to include in the notes below a link to this to this account on the test network, and you'll be able to see all of the different transactions that need to happen in order for you to successfully set up a mini pool with, with Rocket Pool. Okay, so now this is successfully approved staking access to RPL, 
And now we need to do another transaction. Okay, so we just approved the staking contract and now we're gonna go ahead and actually stake it. So I'm gonna say 65 again. Are you sure you wanna stake 100 RPL? You will not be able to unstake this RPL until you exit your validators and close your mini pools or reach over 150% collateral. We'll go ahead and say yes to that. Once we have everything staked, we should be in a good position to create our mini pool. So let's give this a minute. There we go, we successfully staked 100 RPL. Now if we say rocket pool node status, we should see that we have 17 ETH, we have 500 RPL, our withdrawal address has not been set yet, and we have a total of 100 RPL staked in an effective stake of zero, allowing you to run one mini pool in total. Your node does not have any mini pools yet. Let's change that. So now we can run rocket pool node deposit. Okay, by creating a new mini pool, your node will automatically claim and distribute any balance you have in your fee distributor contract. If you don't want to claim your balance at this time, you should not create a new mini pool. We don't have to worry about that right now. We could say yes to that. Okay, so here we go. So now your mini pool will use the current fixed commission rate of 15%. Your consensus client is synced and you may safely create a mini pool. All right, this is exciting. So let's go ahead and I'm going to bump this up again because I don't want this to take too long. So I'm going to say 65 again. Are you sure you want to do this? Running a mini pool is a long term commitment and this action cannot be undone. Okay, so we're about to deposit 16 ETH to create a mini pool with a minimum possible commission rate of 15%. Sure, you want to do this? Let's do it. Creating mini pool. Your mini pool is is an initialized status. Once the 16 ETH deposit has been matched by the staking pool, it will be moved to pre-launch status. After that, it will move to staking status. Once one hour has, has passed, you can watch it progress using Rocket Pool Service Logs node. So let's take a look at rocket pool service logs node. Okay, cool. Checking for new reward tree files to download, checking for mini pools. Awesome. All right, so now if we do rocket pool node status, the nodes distributor, v this is the, this is the nodes distributor. Oh, the drawer address is still the same. We, okay, the ETH came out of here. And we have one node on pre-launch. Okay. We successfully created a mini pool. Excellent. So now, what I think we can do is, we should be able to see the status of the mini pool on the beacon chain. So this is using the Prater beacon chain. So I think the Prater beacon chain explorer. So if we look here, we need to get the public key of our validator. Now how do we do that? Let's look at rocket pool mini pool. Mini pool status. And there we go. So if we do rocket pool mini pool status, we can see information about the mini pools on this server. So we have one in pre-launch right now, and here is our validator public key. So if we take this validator public key and we go over to the block explorer and plug that in here, here we go. So now we can see that we deposited 16 ETH and we are in a deposited state. Now we just need to wait for that period of time uh, around 16 to 24 hours and the deposit will be processed. So now we need to wait for the additional 16 ETH to come in as well before we can go to an active state. So I think we've done pretty much everything we can do here. 
to be able to get this going. Now it's just really a process of waiting. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and we'll come back once this is, once this is complete. All right, awesome.